Whether you work in a corporate setting like here at Leviton, an educational facility, or a factory, or any other type of business setting, energy management and energy savings are extremely important. A simple way to save energy is to install a Leviton occupancy sensor. Occupancy sensors allow for automatic on-off switching of lighting loads for lighting convenience, security, and long-term energy savings. Occupancy sensors, like the Leviton ODS-10, can be used in a variety of locations. Hallways, pantries, conference rooms, or anywhere you want to have great energy savings. I'm going to show you just how easy it is to install an ODS-10 so that you can start saving money on electricity today. Let's get started. Before installing your new ODS-10 occupancy sensor, make sure to turn the power off at the panel. Taking your tester, make sure that the power is really off at the device. Once you're sure the power is off, you can remove the wall plate and the old switch. After removing the device, make sure the wires are stripped to the appropriate length. Then, take wire nuts and place them over the exposed wires. Twist them on clockwise, making sure that they are snug and tight. Now, go back to your panel and turn the breaker back on. Next, taking the tester, check each of the wires to find out which wire is your hot wire or the wire that is carrying electricity. Once you know which one is the hot wire as indicated by your tester, take a piece of electrical tape and wrap it around the hot wire so you know which one it is. Next, go back to the panel and shut the breaker off. Now that you've shut the power off, you should retest the wires to make sure that they're dead. The wires on the ODS-10 have already been stripped to the appropriate length for easy installation. First, take the green wire on the device and connect it to the green or ground wire, which could also be a bare copper wire, in your wall box. Then take your hot wire, the one you marked with electrical tape, and connect that to the black wire coming from the sensor. Again, using your wire nut. Lastly, take the blue wire, your load wire, and connect it to the remaining wire in the wall. Go ahead now and place the wires into the wall box. Next, taking the screws that came with the device and a Phillips head screwdriver, mount the device into the wall. Now that we've finished mounting, we're going to go back to the panel and turn the power on. Now that we've restored power, give the device approximately one minute to warm up. You will know that the device is warmed up once the LED on the device begins to blink red. Now that the device is warmed up, you can adjust your control settings. The control settings are located in the middle of the device. First, remove the cover. Second, you will notice the blinders, which are two independent shutters, that control the amount of motion that can be seen by the device. You can move them left or right and can narrow the field of view from 180 degrees with both blinders open to 60 degrees with both blinders closed. The fixed time delay allows you to determine when you want the device to turn off when no one is present in a particular room. It is the first dial on the left of the device. Each mark around the dial corresponds to a certain amount of time. The slash mark located all the way clockwise is a 30 second timeout used for the walkthrough test. It can also be left at that selection if you have a 30 second timeout desired. One is a 10 minute timeout, two, a 20 minute timeout, three, a 30 minute timeout. The range dial is the sensitivity of motion detection. Turn the dial clockwise to 10 for 100% sensitivity or turn the dial all the way counterclockwise down to 36% detection. The ambient light level is the amount of light present in a room without any artificial light. The ODS-10 has an adjustment to keep the lights from turning on when there is enough light already present. With the lights on, rotate the time control fully counterclockwise to set the timeout to a 30 second timeout selection, all the way to the slash mark. Rotate the light control fully counterclockwise. Next, leave the room and let the ODS-10 timeout and turn the lights off. Rotate the light control clockwise slowly until the lights turn on. 
This indicates the setting for the current level of light in that room. So there you have it, the Leviton ODS-10 occupancy sensor. And we're now well on our way to great energy savings and sustainability.